Hey, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Skiing Sports, hanging out at the Winter Sports Market in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is where all the brands come and kind of show off what they've been working on. Let's go. Hey, Johnny Mosley here uh, for Peter Glenn Skiing Sports, hanging out, talking to my buddy George about the uh, Stokely lineup. And uh, we were just kind of in the middle of a sort of a tuning discussion because obviously, you know, when you make the ski, it's got to also come out of the box ready to go these days. Back in the day, you used to get a pair of skis and you have to tune it, yeah. right? But now they come out pretty, pretty yeah. good out of the box. So you guys are obviously a sort of craft skiing mm -hmm. operation, right? Yep. But, but not like new craft, not like IPA no. craft. We're no. talking, <laughs> you know, original Stokely yeah. Swiss, Swiss and, craftsmanship. And technical and technology too, and the machinery and the things that we use. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this ski, uh, I haven't uh, seen this ski yet. This is obviously new for fall 2024. This is the AR Montero. Looking forward to skiing it, but tell me a little bit about. So what this the is a real is good all mountain machine. You know, it's 84 underfoot. So mm -hmm. it's got that kind of perfect waist width where if you're skiing, say, on the East Coast on really hard, you know, what can be icy snow, that's about as wide as you want to go on that snow where you'll still feel really good edge grip and have kind of secure feeling too. Um, but at the same time, it's got just a little bit of tip splay. So if you get into some powder and crud, you know, it's still, it's still going to work really well. His term I've picked up on for tip early rise is splay, which yeah. I like, yeah. but basically it means the tip Stokely is known for not really going full rocker, like yeah. to, to, yeah. to gone, gone overboard with the whole rocker craze because a more traditional ski, but it does help to have a little bit of just tip rocker. Just a little bit of easy. Even if you're skiing in Vermont or yeah. something, you're East Coaster originally yeah. or something, yeah. right? Yeah, you I get those days no. that you get like some pow, yeah. and you don't want to be like the guy having to like lean back to keep your tips And you up. don't want to go change your skis either. Right, right. So right. The, the tip play just reduces, it makes it a little bit easier to enter into the turn, mm -hmm. and it um, it's just turned up a little bit more in this section of the ski, but you're still... The cool thing about rocker is when you tip it over and more of these all mountain skis, it's still going to connect and mm -hmm. you're going to feel the whole length of the ski if you're charging and yeah. tipping it on edge for sure. So are you satisfied with its hard snow performance being an ex-ski racer? You yeah. know, yeah. like, can you take this in the town league and yeah. still feel Actually, like that's what my, that's what, what I ski on all the time yeah, or yeah. something like that. I was going to say, sure. I'm actually coming to uh, Stowe like at the end of the month for that yeah. AIG thing. Oh, cool. It. And I, I, I might need like a... I'll loan you a I might need a pair to, to get in the... You get know get where to find us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, but tell me, this is, this kind of has a, I would say a, a more a softer look. Like it, it definitely has, yep. you know, it's not the Stokely like, yep. you know... Oh, usually you guys are silver and black with the Swiss flag. Yeah. Let's keep it simple. We'll no, and stick this, to business. This is a little bit more, you know, it's a little different style for us. But <laughs> yeah. what's really cool is you have the 3D top skin. Yeah, that's so cool. So it's got like almost like a hidden, almost camouflage kind of look to it. And uh -huh. uh, no, these skis are probably one of our most successful series of skis because we can pretty much fit anybody on them and they're going to have a good time. Yeah, it looks like it rips. And the radius on this bad 16, boy. Yeah, uh, 16. Okay, so yeah. you, that's like solemn. Yeah. I mean... It, not this, slalom. No, but. this is going to be more medium to long yeah. radius turn. It's right. going to have a little bit more like a traditional GS kind of feel to it. But uh -huh. you can still, you know, like with any of these keys, you can go down in size if you're a person who wants to make shorter radius turns and it'll work or, um, you know, go longer if you're more of a cruiser. And I'm guessing a couple sheets of tetanol. The classic Stokely classic construction. Stokely yep, construction. two sheets of tetanol. Yep, it. handmade yeah. sandwich. Yep. Um, and what's a little how bit? How good a skier do you have to be to, to make this thing work? One of the things that we've worked on over the past 10 years is broadening the envelope of who the ski ski on. Because everybody, Stokely had this reputation of being the hard charging for the best, best skiers. But if you mm -hmm. weren't the best skier, it was hard to ski on. Yeah. So we've clearly opened up the range and the envelope of who can go on these skis. And so if you're just an intermediate skier, you're going to ski on them and feel the same thing, that you're really balanced, you're really comfortable. The ski's not pushing you in any kind of different direction or anything. Hey, all I needed to hear was that that's what you ski in the town leagues okay. here. So thanks, George. <laughs> thanks, I'll, I'll see you out in Stowe. Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn Skiing Sports. Get the gear before you go. Have a great winter.